Deep versus Lee is what this looks like. Um, this is a horrendous matchup for Deep. It's got to be, right? How do you deal with the Lee Sin? You can't. Um, you can, like, try to Bone Skewer it. You could try to obliterate it, but it's, like, it's just never working. So, I, like, hard mulligan for, like, pretty much Lee and Zoe. I'll even keep a deny in my opening hand, because, like, Deep can't kill you fast, right? Um, and then all I have to do is have, like, one Eye of the Dragon, and they're just not getting through to, like, turn seven. And then I just play Lee, give them Overwhelm, and kill them. Yeah, there's not a Vengeance in this uh, Deep variant, which we sometimes saw in the older Deep decks, but we are seeing the Lee Sin already in the hand of Random, as well as some protection spells. We've got the Bastion, and we've got the Zenith Blade. So really, all the combo pieces are in place, as well as top decking the Gifts to get us the uh, Eye of the Dragon and get those spell procs going for Random. So very nice hand here to start from Random. Yeah, uh, um, the gifts into the mentor. Sure, sure. Oh. Yeah, gifts into the mentor here so that you can buff up the Eye of the Dragon on the swing. I don't mind this either. Uh, we do not have any vile feasts or anything like that on the side of real key to be able to deal with this mentor of the stones. So we may be able to get uh, multiple swings, although we do see the Lure coming down, getting that nice discount, and uh, drawing into... Uh, what is that unit name? The Toss? The 2-3 Toss. Yeah, um... C -Scarab. C Scarab, that is right. Obviously not a deep player. Uh, that's a good statted unit there and a key part of the engine uh, that makes deep go deep. Uh, so going to be able yeah. to get a nice block here, uh, potentially. Oh, oh, no. Challenging. You? Wow, with the uh, resonating strike coming down as well, probably to clean that up. Oh, no need, right, with the buff of the Mentor of the Stones. Nice, clean swing here from Random. Going to be able to keep that Mentor alive as well. Gross. This is just not where you want to be if you're playing deep. Triple Nautilus in hand. Oof. Like, you could try to devour Mentor, and maybe it'll work. But that doesn't even feel good. Leeson, yep. <laughs> yeah, Leeson coming down, knowing that there's no threat. Already at four out of eight of those triggers. Uh, we have the Zenith coming down as well. Going to go up to five out of eight. I don't think we're going to go for the level this turn. We have the Gifts in hand as well as a Pale, uh, but just really going to be able to set up this Leeson for the future swings. Worth noting, though, that uh, Nautilus is going to be able to come down next turn on the side of Real Key, uh, start getting those sea monsters out. We have actually three Nautilus we're... in hand, which... Uh... I don't think we're even remotely close to deep, though. But you can anchor Lee Sin. Yeah, a couple times now. Although we do just see one Bastion uh, on the side of Random, so going to be able to stop one of those. Although the Nopify, not going to be able to stop the second if we go for the double stun. Well, the, I imagine the turn will probably go like Riptide, Bastion, Vile Feast, Nopify, Riptide. That's a pretty strong prediction. We're doing the pre-commit of the Bastion here onto the Lee. Uh... This double Nautilus hand actually looking very nice right now from Real Key, right? That's exactly what you need. Yeah, pretty solid. The cards that beat this, this chain are a deny. Um, or a will of Ionia bouncing Nautilus will let you your Lee stay on board and just get stuck. 
Now we don't have either of those right now, but we do have a deep med on three mana that we may be able to use to uh, draw into that. In Lee Sin, already at 7 attack with the Overwhelm and leveled, it's turn 8. We have a Pale Cascade, uh, going to be able to threaten a whole lot of damage here on the side of random. Conflict is all in the mind. Going for the Deep Med off the bat, uh, was not able to find the Will, but did find a Guiding Touch if we want to continue to dig further. Uh, double Concussive Palm as well. Um, we definitely need to keep this Lee on the board. No Lee as backup uh, in the hand. So if Ryoki is able to deal with this Lee, uh, they will be sitting in a decent spot for the rest of the game. Yeah, pretty crazy. This is not a uh, sequence of plays that you plan for if you're random, right? You're not like, okay, we have to play around triple Nautilus in hand. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that actually, like we were saying, there there are no options in the deck of Deep Relay to deal with Lee Sin. I think Nautilus Spell is the only option to effectively deal with it outside of a Bone Skewer, but of course you have protection to deal with that. So uh, going to be threatening Lethal here uh, from random with this swing, but we do see that Ryoki has that double knot Riptide in hand. Getting your lease in Riptide, it feels so bad. Ryoki is sweating right now. If there is a deny in hand, uh, Random will auto lose. Uh, if there, yeah, if, uh, Ryoki would lose if there was a deny in hand, but there is not one. So this lease in going to be uh, sent back to the Shadow Realm. Yeah, and random, I believe you said without a second Lee in hand. Yep. Definitely going to make this awkward. You have no real pressure. Nautilus on board. Yeah, we do have... Oh! Nope! We uh, top-decked a second Lee Sin there with the Guiding Touch last turn. Didn't realize that's what the Resonating Strike was, so we do have Lee again... To attack next turn, all we have to do on the side of random is live through this swing. Uh, close to deep here on the side of real key. We do have the salvage as well. The rock must be cut away. Um, Extend your senses. Can we get there? If you can get there, that's huge. Oh, not quite. Uh, you get to kill something and draw a card. Because, like, then Devour is free. And you can play two of them, thanks yeah. to Baiting Memories. Yeah, there was no way to get there. We don't have a health buff currently in the hand of Random, actually, outside of Zenith Blade. Uh, so if we're able to get the Devour Fish onto the Lee Sin next turn... That could be one option to deal with it. Although if Random goes for the Zenith this turn on Lee, that will put him out of range of the Devour. We need a deep count. We need to know. Uh, deep currently sitting at five away. Uh, we oh. have, uh, again, we have Salvage in the hand to get us four closer. And with the draw, we should be able to get there next turn. Mm. Bone Skewer, also an interesting option here. So yeah, opting to put the Zenith back on the Lee Sin. I really like this play. Not going to allow for the Devour to come through, unless, of course, we use that Bone Skewer. But we do have a Nopify in the hand of Random. Bone Skewer is cool because it puts the unit on top of your deck, which means Lee Sin can't kick it. Yeah, if only there wasn't a Nopify in hand. Uh, going for the Infernum just to buff Lee Sin up even more. And we have a Concussive Palm as well if we wanted to... Uh, I guess there's no real reason to use it this turn. Just hold up the Nopify mana as well as a Guiding mm -hmm. Touch if you want to dig for maybe a Pale or something like that. Yep. 
He's like, have more Nautilus, I dare you. <laughs> quite, quite impressive that Ryoki was able to live through that first swing there, but uh, random drawing into the second Lee Sin at the exact right moment, going to be very hard for Ryoki to deal with that. Now, Ryoki's not dead. Because you have atrocity, yeah. You could go bone skewer, get it nopified, and then atrocity. Like you're not dead, but you do have to try to win next turn. Yeah, winning next turn might be a little difficult, but we'll see if Ryoki's able to uh, live through the second Lee Sin swing. In, uh, in, with a deep deck that really isn't equipped to handle Lee Sin most of the time. So extremely well played by Ryoki thus far to be able to uh, survive this onslaught of big Lee Sin swings. Atro coming in here for uh, the zero damage to face. You don't see that all too often. A zero mana or zero attack atrocity uh, on the Nautilus there it just shows how desperate Ryoki is to live through that swing, but again is able to do it with a deck that doesn't have too many tools. We'll see if they can find an answer to deal with this Lee Sin. Currently sitting at 10 HP, cannot be devoured in its current state. The uh, Eye of the Dragon is very nice for random because all you have to do is not die this next turn, right? Like, right now. If you don't die this turn, you get to untap with Lee, and uh, Ryoki's very quickly running out of ways to not die. Yeah, and I don't see any ways that Lethal could be presented with triple concussive palm in hand as well. Just going to be able to shut oh down God. any sort of elusive attack that comes through this turn. Uh, if there was to be a fading memories um, on to the Abyssal Eye, but instead we see a Nautilus being replayed, now a bit beefier than the 0-12 that was killed into the face last turn. Uh, we have, as well, the Sapling being generated. Maokai still uh, uh, 11 cards off of Obliterating Random's deck. Not going to get there anytime soon. And uh, these Triple Concussive Palms going to come in pretty clutch this turn. Yeah, especially through these, like, double devour turn. Um, pretty insane turn here from real key, but Palm is the perfect answer to this. Oh, you get my thing? Okay, I Palm your Nautilus, right? I Palm your Eye. Oh, you, you devour something else? Okay, well, I Palm something else. And now you have two things stunned, and I have more blockers. Yeah, I like using the Concussive Palm there as well to create a blocker for this swing. A 3-2, very nice blocker into the Nautilus. Uh, as well as you're going to get that Lee Sin barrier this turn. Don't really have to worry about any pings or anything like that. Seeing a fading coming down on the Devour uh, because of the lure of the depths that was played earlier as well. Uh, that is going to be impacting this. See another Devour coming down on the on the tail, but probably going to see potentially another Concussive played at this moment. S a beefy board here for sure from Realkey, uh presenting a lot of threats but Random has the tools to deal with it. Could have opted to go for a Concussive uh, Palm pre-attack, except if there was another Fading Memories, then it gets very dicey. So op uh, opting to hold that until the swing, going to be stunning the Nautilus here. Probably giving up the eye as well, potentially, just so there's no uh, lethal um, potential with atrocity. Although, actually, one of these 7-7s seven being able to uh, connect would mean that a top deck atrocity could do it. Pretty unfortunate for Realki that we had to send that in last turn. Um, going it down to... 5 HP right now on the side of random. So an atrocity top deck seems to be the only out uh, unless a bone skewer is found and we can prevent the swing. Um, although Lee Sin with Overwhelm still going to be able to kill through that. So it's 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 prey for atrocity, I believe, on the side of real key. 
Dredge Dredger is not quite atrocity. No, it is not. Random. Good card. Yeah. But not that good. <laughs> Needed it earlier as well, maybe, right, Majin? We didn't go deep until later in the game that Nautilus was sitting at zero attack for too long. Uh, Dredger's not coming in in time. And, of course, cleaning up that Sea Scarab really early on with that clean eye trade. Uh, Going to be hard to get deep after that. And I don't know if I've ever seen a zero attack Nautilus atrocity before. That was a bit sad to see uh, for Team Deep, but we've got Random here. Wishing well to Ryoki. Ryoki, nice uh, with the Ezreal and Sunglasses emote. So we've got Karma Ezreal on the side of Random playing into Ryoki's Deep once again. Majin, not too familiar with this matchup table. What are you thinking looking at these decks? So Karma Ezreal is a kill you on turn 10 deck. Um... And Ezreal being the way it usually kills you, right? It levels Ezreal, it plays Karma, you level both, you stack a bunch of spells and it kills you. Um, Deep has kind of a hard time dealing with Ezreal. The addition of Bone Skewer has helped a ton, um, but it's still kind of tough. And so what I imagine this game will look like is um, we'll play out a normal game. They'll just kind of sit here, random will kill things, real key will play things, try to go deep. And then um, Karma Ezreal will just just stall. We'll hit like the deep turn, turn seven, eight, nine, ten, um, and Random will start deploying these wills and concussive palms to stay alive. And then finally on turn ten or so, uh, we'll see likely a big combo that's going to finish real key off. It can be tough to get the full twenty if you don't have um, a level to Ezreal on board, but it, it can be done. Karma is a kind of a house. Especially with these Hexite Crystals. Once you start copying those, that puts out so much damage so fast. The world I like I like the Fallen Feline. I think it's cool. I haven't decided whether I want to be on that version or the um, the other version with the Ballistic Bot, Zonai Urchin, and Sump Dredgers. You do get to play get excited in the ballistic bot version because you get the fodder of the ignition but hexite crystal is such a strong card and zana urchin you don't really want to play on turn one because you have to choose whether or not you want to discard a card or wait till you have the free fodder later um whereas fallen feline you're totally okay like you want to slam it on turn one um which makes for a much better blocking experience and also putting that crystal in your deck early, right, just gives you more chances mm -hmm. to see it in the predicts and your draws. Uh, exactly. And we do see right now very spell-heavy hand on the side of random. We've got a Static Shock, a Deny, Deep Med, Mystic, and Eye of the Dragon. So mostly spells here, which is kind of what you expect from Karma Ezreal. And sticking this Ez on the board, getting it leveled, going to be very key to random's strategy here. Abyssal Eye coming down. We're 14 away from deep. Still have a ways to go. Uh, but we've got Mystic Shot and Static Shock to clean up this eye. Uh, ideally before uh, Ryoki is able to go deep. And How massive ideally. raid right now coming in from Swim. Uh, thank you guys so much for coming through. We are in the semi-finals of the Squeeby and GG Tour $500 Rune Terra Open. Uh, we are in the... Uh, mash of random versus real key two solid players we played eight rounds yesterday in the open to get down to a top 16 with the top eight players being in the prize pool and both of these players looking to earn some nice coin already being in the semifinals and of course i'm joined by the illustrious majin bay oh i kind of like that the illustrious <laughs> the illustrious majin I'll put that on my business card. Illustrious. It's a nice. It's nice. You know, it just kind of yeah, cleans cool. it up. Uh, yeah. So we've got. Shout out to Swim for the raid. Mm -hmm. That man's been slugging it out in Masters with Poros. Gotta respect that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to try that deck on stream pretty soon. We've got a Fading Memories coming in here on to the Dreg Dredgers, and we see a, mis a Static Shock being played to clean up that Abyssal Eye, like I was talking about. Trying to rush into deep here for real key. Yeah, Actually able to hit it with the double jettison. Massive Ooh. tosses coming in here. 
uh, going to be able to pr just present so much damage, right? And you don't want to be blocking that eye with Ezreal. Uh, we don't have any stuns in hand either. Shadow Assassin, a nice pickup, but we don't have priority to play it to stop this block. Yeah, this is, um, you see random Shen emoting and stuff. And yeah, this game was firmly in random's control until that moment. Um, not picking off the eye of the dragon not the eye sorry the uh yeah the, the other eye the abyssal eye um is such a huge moment because now ezreal can't attack ezreal can't attack you're taking damage real key gets cards devourer is huge um yeah real key is all of a sudden looking super super solid we have nautilus into devour next turn with bone skewer up like this is going to be a monstrous turn for real key yeah, this is what didn't happen last round, right, Majin? We didn't go deep on the side of real key until turn uh, eight or nine, and now we're seeing deep. Uh, g we're at deep on turn six. Not the fastest, but not too shabby either, and right in time to keep that eye as a threat on board. Uh, we are going to be using a static shock as well as I would imagine a thermo beam this turn. We we want to start getting those Ezreal swings in. And with that, we level Ezreal, as well as a draw into the Karma. Absolutely massive. This is the combo piece you want to see. Like Majin said, getting a Karma and Ezreal both on board leveled. Pretty unstoppable combo. Except when your Ezreal dies, which is what's going to happen. Yeah. Uh, Devour on Ezreal, yeah. pretty good. And then um, Thermobeam on I just gets Bone Skewer. If, if you want to use Bone Skewer. Um, not sure how you should do that um because making sure you have removal for karma or ezreal is like really important decides yeah. to go for it anyway i don't I think know that's, that's i fine. like it actually because you do have the shadow assassin right so you're already not gonna be able to swing with that eye although putting it back on the top of the deck of course it will be fully healed when played so it will be able to trade into that shadow assassin but i do like what you're saying majin like removing karma not a whole lot of interaction at the four uh health point um so random may be able to stick this karma into the later turns of the game yep uh and then oh, we're gonna see a pretty good attack on real key side uh is there a palm in random sand there is one palm that is very important here to stun the nautilus and present a blocker uh because otherwise this is so much damage here And with the atrocity in hand, you don't need much. I will say I'm a bit biased in this game. Uh, I want real key to win because I want to see another game of Ezreal Karma. <laughs> and it would be cool to go to a game three. We've already seen uh, two game three sets today being played. So the... Uh, They've been very close matches thus far. Um, we do see the sun stun coming down pre-attack. Going to be able to create a blocker for the uh, Devourer. And we see the Dead Bloom coming down as well. Going to be tossing some more cards. Only card left in hand for real key is Atrocity. And we do have the Deny ready for that in the hand of Random. These uh, Hexite Crystals are not as good in this matchup. Everything's so big. Yeah. yeah, when you Karma them, they're pretty solid. But uh, still doesn't kill anything. Now it would kill an Abyssal Eye. Jaw Hunters is nice. It's essentially a two for one. And you get to play both this turn. Shout out to Nautilus. Yeah. How do you like uh, zero mana five sixes? How does, it, how does that feel? For free. Pretty strong as a Yetis player. Uh, I am a little jealous at zero. You know, I, I'm used to playing those for around one mana. So expensive. Mm -hmm. So zero yeah. mana free five six. Feeling pretty good here. Uh, Karma is leveling this turn on board. Definitely worth noting there. We're going to start getting that huge double value. Uh, we have a go get it being created by Karma in hand. Um, <laughs> not gonna do a whole lot, I think. Yeah, that's not exactly the one you want to see. 
We have double time trick though. Start. Yeah, we drew into double time trick, so gonna find a lot of options here. Opting to go for crystal. Yep, found a crystal, and we found an Ezreal as well. If we want to pick that up. Going for a gotcha there, um, as well as the crystal coming down. Uh, we have the second time trick in hand as well, if we want to go for that. Uh, gotcha, going to be double cast by that leveled, uh, that leveled karma. Seems like we're having an issue. I kind of want to go for that time trick here. I want to see if I can find a second Oh, crystal. yeah. We found a will. That's not bad. Ooh, that's pretty big. And we found a concussive palm as well. These are the spells you want to see, effectively drawing four cards at your choosing right now for four mana. Uh, feels pretty good. I've heard that's all right. Is it better than a zero mana five six? <laughs> I mean, the answer is yes. I think it is. <laughs> but that zero mana five six feels pretty satisfying to slam on the board. It does. So. Well, here's the problem. We're quickly running out of mana. We have to not take enough damage to die while setting up for a win and not dying to atrocity. So this 3-2 should block something else, right? Block the 7-5 or the Scarab. Well, the 3-2 being pulled by the Y'all doesn't pull, have pull, many uh, options. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... But we are going to see a double Static Shock come down, um, as well wow. as the double Crystal. Going to be able to clean up a lot of this board. Not going to be able to push a whole lot of damage here, uh, but more importantly, Zero. also going to keep us out of atrocity range uh, on the side of random. Zero damage being pushed. Zero damage, you draw two cards, and you stay out of atrocity range. This ended up being a very strong turn. You do lose Karma, which is rough, um, but the deck doesn't need much. Right, like, and Ezra. Look at the hand. Random has I mean, honestly, yeah, hand. Majin, we did a full refill, picking exactly the tools we needed, found a leveled Ezreal. This is probably enough here to close out the side of random. I mean, that swing turn, kind of like we talked about with uh, Ezreal Draven, right? That turn with the karma and the draw and the double spell effects, uh, it just completely turned the game on its head. The board was massive on the side of Realkey there going into that turn. And now Realkey is left with a lonely Nautilus and three cards in hand. Riptide could be nice, though. Uh, it could be nice. We do have double Deny here in the in the hand of Random, as well as two Thermos, uh, a oh, Gotcha, so a Will of Ionia, Mystic Shot, and a Nopify. We have answers for days on the side of Random. So it could be nice, <laughs> but it won't be. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Although we may see it played, uh, as there are not a ton of options left for real key here. So this turn looks like Mystic Shot, Riptide, Deny, Pass, right? Like, and you're so happy with this. Because you can block and go for lethal next turn. Yeah. This sequence would put real key to seven. Uh, you could even thermo afterwards just to like put more damage on if you need yep. to. The zero mana thermos are really strong with an Ezreal level on board, essentially That's a free right. mystic shot face. Uh, we're going to be able to preserve this as probably not going to swing with it in into the abyssal nope. eye. We don't have a stun currently, and it doesn't seem like it would be worth uh, using a will. Opting to pass instead, just going to play the yep. slow game here. Uh, we do draw really into agree. a shadow assassin. Nice devour and everything, but like you're just going to die. Right? You're going to put it on the stack, and random's going to kill you. I think. I can't see random's hand, but there's... We have five. one fast speed spell, two fast speed spells. Uh, we're not going to use a Nopify on that. Probably could opt to go for the Deny as you well. You can't Nopify a skill. No, I know. Yeah, we can't use the Nopify. Uh, could use the Deny. Nah, I like the gotcha. It, yeah. It, Two birds with one stone. Yeah, no need to use it here. One deny and gonna save mana for the second deny potentially as well. Oh, opting to go for the will on the Nautilus. I like this play as well. 
Yeah, because it just stuns instead. But that does mean that the Abyssal Eye is going to be able to get a hit in this turn. Um, we do still have the Denies in hand for random to stop any atrocity lethals. But Real Key playing to their outs, going to get some damage on face this turn as well as a draw. Does random have? I assume random has the damage in hand. Oh, never mind, Shadow Assassin. Um, random is looking at double thermogenic beam to close it perfect. out this turn. Uh, Fire it off. Yeah. The atrocity in hand, there's no mana left on the side of Real Key. Not going to be able to use that. So these Thermo Beams, going to be enough to close out the game. Leveled Ezreal on board. The Karma coming in at the right time. Just generating so many draws. Feeling safe going down to 2 HP. This spells the end of the game for Real Key. The end of the match. The That's end of the match. Random. Yep. One. I think the Ionia first... Ionia Gang represent. Dang. Pink gang.